Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how I make Starship coils. This is what a Starship coil looks like. This is the first one I ever made on a little jig. It looks like it's been bent and all sorts of stuff, because it has. It's actually been melted and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, you can see that one right there is kind of melted. These are all shorted together. I actually did a lens law demonstration and this just spokes. But it's okay. That was the purpose. So, that's a Starship coil, um, and I'm going to show you how to make one. i got a couple other coils here I want to show you real quick. Starship coil. This is embedded in glue. There's actually, um, if I were to put a guessing game out there, let's just do that. How many sticks of hot glue gun, let's rephrase that, how many inches or feet, either one, did I put into this coil? Okay, those are the dimensions. Here's my hand. Alright, how much hot glue is in here? You guys figure that out. Alright, so I got that Starship, this Starship, and this Starship. The only ones I've ever made. Here's a regular rodent coil. You've all seen this. And a Starship coil exactly hits those same points. So it's the same as a rodent coil, but pancaked. And you only wrap it on top of each other. It saves so much time and it puts out a great amount of magnetic power. Alright, let me get it set up here. Okay guys, right here I have a piece of wood. On this piece of wood I have glued the Starship coil winding uh, jig on here. What it is, is it's a circle with uh, every 30 degrees marked out. Now I have two holes on here for each point because I did some special windings. But basically you hit every 30 degrees all the way around here so you hit 12 points. And then you wrap the pattern in this star shaped pattern. Uh, HHO for volts, this is actually his diagram he made up. I just glued it on here. Printed out, glued it on here. And that's what size of coil I got. Let's see how this fits on here. Now I'm going to show you a trick, uh, at least that I know that I have found out a better way or an easier way to do this um, as far as winding goes. Um, as earlier, I showed you guys how I wrapped this wire. Okay, I found out if you have the wire overhead, so I'm working down here, you just have the spool floating up here in the air somewhere, hang it on something. Uh, that makes it easier. Okay, so most people, or some uh, HHO for Volts originally started using um, golf tees, works pretty good. I still use golf tees. Some people use nails and all sorts of stuff, but right now it's just golf tees. So I got my jig, I got my holes drilled out so my golf tees fit right in there. They're real snug. Okay, so that's that's the winding jig. Now here's what I have found out makes it a whole lot easier. Get yourself another piece of wood or a jig or whatever you want to do. Get yourself a real thin washer and a screw or a nail. Okay, I already got a hole in here. Put that washer on there. Drill a hole in the center of your jig, right in the middle. Place that washer in between the two pieces of wood. Okay, screw this down. And here's what you got. You got yourself a, uh, a bearing, if you will. Okay, so now I, when I wind, I can turn my jig. Makes it a lot easier when you're winding the Starship coil because you just wrap, 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 wrap. It goes by real quick. Alright, so let's set this up. I always have a uh, an extra pin or two. That's where I wrap the wires that are coming out of the coil. And then go through my coil and then wrap it back out here until I get this uh, secured. So I'm just wrapping one wrap. I'll go ahead and put all my pegs in here. You might want to test these. I did wrap a Starship coil and one broke. I was halfway through. I went ahead and finished it, but it could have been better if it didn't break. Alright. I'm going to get my uh, jig set up here a little better. Camera changed. Okay. I got my timer set up here because I'm going to fast forward this footage so that you can see how long it takes. Okay, guys. I got my spool dangling from the from the ceiling here okay so it's just floating just keep it out of my way that's all it is and I like it to be overhead a little bit it seems to work better all right so I got my wire up here I'm gonna get the end of my wire
I'm going to take a, I don't know, about a foot or so. And I'm just going to wrap it around this start pin. All this does is keep it out of my way. Now you want to kind of make this wadded up or whatever so that you can spin the jig. Alright, here we go. Start my clock and I'm just going to start winding. Easiest thing to do, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and start it, but I'm going to talk anyway. Easiest thing to do is keep it towards the bottom. So I always just put my finger here and just hold it towards the bottom. I didn't work out, did it? Okay, and I just hold it towards the bottom the whole time. Like so. I try to pull tension on it, but if you pull too much, you start, you start pulling your pegs over. But just follow the winding pattern. You can get it wrong quite easily, to be honest. Um, even though you wouldn't think you'd be able to, so just pay attention to what you're doing. Okay, now I made it to the first wrap. And what I'll do is I get a pencil out, a piece of paper. I'll make a mark. One. Okay. Here we go. Crap. That's what I'm talking about, guys. No worries. Hold it out. Put another one in. That's what I get for putting too much tension on these things. Pulling pretty tight. I lighten up. Alright, continuing. Okay guys. So, I've got, uh, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 34 wraps on here right now. And you can see how thick it is. You can look at the inside and you see how clean it looks. It looks all nice and flat and square and it looks all neat. Unfortunately, uh, it's hard to keep it like that as uh, you saw in my coil where I hot glued it. It looked uh, looked really nice. It stayed. It, it's, it held its form. Uh, unfortunately, um, this when you start to get to the top it gets a little tricky. You just got to kind of keep pushing the corners down. And uh, I've got a lot of pressure on these, so that's why that one broke. But uh, you just keep on going. I'm gonna go until I run out of wire here. Um, got a couple wraps left so here we go okay guys check this out this is rather interesting I'm getting close to being out of wire and my starship coil is actually above my um, picks there you can see it actually starts to grow out which is rather interesting because I'm pulling it out further on the heads um, it's not real good that's okay I'm just going to keep going. I'm almost out of wire. Alright. I really can't fit any more wire on here. Uh, the first part of this video actually uh, my camera got messed up so the time kind of jumps but that's okay. Alright, here's what I got left on my spool. Only a couple wraps. Not really very many. Um, actually, the amount of wire, the amount of wire that I had on here, uh, was a lot more than I thought. Um, I bet it was closer to about four to five hundred foot, um, maybe even more than that. Because my other coil had, this coil has, uh, let's see, two hundred and sixty plus two hundred sixty, so four hundred and like five hundred and something foot. I bet there's six to seven hundred foot on this. Starship coil, that's a lot. But, um, check it out. It's pretty interesting. 
something interesting kind of happened. It started growing over top of the pegs and the Starship coil winding started flaring out which is rather interesting. Kind of gives me an idea. But uh, now what you want to do is get yourself some zip ties. I'm going to go ahead and cut this wire off. I hate wasting recycled wire but I'm going to have to do it this time. Alright, I got some little zip ties here. And what you want to do is pull one peg out at a time and zip tie it on there. Um, I actually like starting here and then going there and back and forth and back and forth. So I'm just going to pull one out. And there's a lot of pressure on these things, like a lot. I just stick it in there like this. Zip tie it down, that's it. Pretty simple. Okay, that is a fat Starship coil, jeez, look at this one here, this is the first one I ever wrapped, granted it's been smashed a lot, check out the, uh, the difference, <laughs> it's huge, here's my other coil, I told you there's probably a lot more wire in here than I thought, but it is thinner wire than this, um, so there's probably... I'm, I'm still going to guess about 400 foot. There's, there's quite a bit of wire here. But that is essentially how you build a Starship coil. I want to thank Richard um, or HHO for volts. I want to thank you for uh, sharing this cool coil. It's interesting. To say the least, it's got some interesting properties to it. And uh, snip these off. And I kind of straighten the ends out a little bit. I like to try to keep it nice, keep its look. And there is a pretty cool Starship coil. Ooh, I see you through my Starship. That don't make sense. Sorry, guys. All right. Um, I guess I'll leave you with that. Now you know how to build Starship coils. I'll show you this coil again, it's rather interesting. I'll hold it real close so you can see it. It's actually twisted uh, Liz wire. And this is copper and aluminum. This wire is probably around a number 26. Uh, might be like a 24, somewhere in there. This one's, uh, I think it's the same actually, 26. It's a little bit bigger. It's probably a, a 24. This is probably 26. That's how you wrap a Starship coil. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed that. And yes, I uh, I did happen to pull these really tight and break one off. That's fine. It happens. Alright, enjoy. I uh, hope to get those other rodent coils finished. But uh, I had some, uh, some time I wanted to show everybody how to make one of these because it's very interesting. HHO for volts did a good job showing that and uh, I just want to show you a possible improvement over the jig with uh, this it helped out a lot all right this Russ I'm out have a good one hey guys little uh, tech specs on this coil one I just built uh, it I wrapped it with 63 turns so 63 12 point turns um, it's got 600 or 756 point-to-point -point wires and I calculated those to be out around this is a very rough estimate uh, 327.7 foot but I would give or take 50 foot probably more uh, on that it measures uh, 21.3 ohms and uh, that's it all right keep it real